This is the gross appearance of a rare malignant ovarian tumour called dysgerminoma. Dysgerminomas are malignant germ cell tumours that arise in the ovary and they are the ovarian equivalent of the classical seminoma that arises in the testis. Dysgerminomas account for approximately 50% of ovarian malignant germ cell tumours and 1-2% to of all ovarian cancers. They occur most frequently between the ages of 15 and 30 and they account for approximately 5-10% to 10 of ovarian cancers occurring in the first three decades. The majority of dysgerminomas are unilateral but 5-15% to 15 are bilateral. Having said that, the tumour in one of the ovaries may just be a microscopic focus when it is bilateral. Approximately 5% of dysgerminomas arise in gonadal dysgenesis, that is when the ovary is malformed, such as streak ovaries, and 50% of gonadoblastomas have a coexistent dysgerminoma. Serum LDH is invariably raised with dysgerminoma and it is a useful tumour marker. And in 3% of cases the beta-HCG is also raised. Dysgerminomas may present with abdominal distension, mass or pain, and there may be menstrual disturbance or gastrointestinal or urinary symptoms, and occasionally there may be hypercalcemia. When dysgerminomas metastasize, they spread via the lymphatic system to the paraaortic and mediastinal lymph nodes. The usual treatment for dysgerminomas is salpingo-oophrectomy if the tumour is confined to the ovary. Dysgerminomas are usually around 15 centimetres across. They have a solid pale or white cut surface similar to a seminoma and a smooth serosal surface. Here is a bisected dysgerminoma, has a white cut surface no smooth serosal surface. Histologically, the tumour cells are arranged in nests, trabeculae and cords, and also sometimes single cells. The cells have abundant clear or pale pink staining cytoplasm with a large round nucleus and a prominent nucleolus. There may be bands of fibrous tissue and a lymphocytic infiltrate within the tumour and also there may be granulomas present. In 3% of cases, syncytiotrophoblast is seen. This slow power view of the dysgerminoma shows the smooth serosal surface. In this field you can see a fibrous band running through the dysgerminoma. Here we can see the tumour arranged in trabeculae and as we zoom in towards the middle of the picture you can see a collection of lymphocytes associated with the tumour. And the tumour cells show abundant pale pink cytoplasm, large nuclei and very prominent purple staining nucleoli. The immunoprofile of dysgerminomas is the same as seminomas, so OCT34 will be positive, PLAP is positive and also CD117 is positive, and CD30 is negative. This is a dysgerminoma showing positive OCT34. And here is the stain for placental alkaline phosphatase, showing strong positivity.